Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to update my, there's dog hair floating right in front of my eyes. I'm going to update my 12 lipsticks of 2023 challenge. So I started this uh, project or challenge to challenge myself to see if I could finish up 12 lipsticks in 2023 or at least, you know, make make some progress on them, do some damage. And I knew it was a bad idea when I started it. And as the months go on, it becomes more and more clear to me how bad of an idea it truly was. Because I am wearing no makeup. None. Pretty much today and the other day was the first time I put makeup on in what feels like almost the whole month. Um, it wasn't, but you get the idea. I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. I'm not wearing a lot of lipstick. So, obviously, progress is pretty much non-existent. So last month I uh, introduced two lipsticks because I'd done a mid-month update and I realized that it was going to put me behind like towards the end of the year. So I decided to introduce one that had so much progress already. It's my one desire from Hourglass. This one was in my project pan last year and that's all I have of this one. So I thought this was an easy one to add now and I also added this one from Essence which is the Rosy Glitz Color Up Shine on lipstick. I am wearing it today and this is how much is in there. This is a very soft like hydrating glossy lipstick and uh, I can tell you right now it is not coping well in Perth heat. It is um, it's looking a little bit sad I'm not gonna lie she's a bit like so there's that. Now I did use this one, not a whole lot. Um, it wasn't until a few days ago that I put it in my handbag and I've been sort of using it when I'm actually out. So I'm assuming the progress on this is going to be absolute pants. Um, I haven't marked it on my sheet or like checked it against the mark um, from last month. So I don't actually know how much progress but you guys will see a photo and you can be the judge. When it comes to my one desire, I don't think I use this a single time. The lipstick that I had in, had in previously, if only from Hourglass, uh, this one I also don't think I used and that's how much I have. So, you know, I'm doing great. Like this project, mate, I'm smashing it out of the park. Um, the You're gonna see my dog now and you guys are going to notice things on her feet. Don't be too concerned. She is okay, but yes, she did injure her feet. She got out while we were house hunting and was running the streets like a crazy dog. And um, she tore up the pads on her feet, but she's okay. She's going to be just fine. The lipstick that I'm introducing is not going to make this project any easier for me. And I'm actually introducing this one now because in my mind I'm like okay if I introduce it right now I've got more of the year to use it and it is Hourglass Red Zero. So this is the um, cruelty free carmine dupe colour from um, Hourglass. I put this one in because I actually have two of these. It's a really beautiful colour. It is, it's a carmine red so it's not like a true 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 like bright fire truck red. It's not blue based red. It is um, like a really old school traditional, you know, if you go back to the early days of makeup and lipsticks, this is the sort of red shade you would see. Yeah, I know those, the shoes are annoying. They're very annoying. I know that this is going to take me forever and a year to use up, so, you know, <laughs> that's why I'm introducing it now. I rarely wear red lipsticks, uh, but I do like this colour and I do like this formula, so I would like to have a go at it. I want to talk a little bit about how I'm feeling with this project at the moment, right in this very, very moment. I am not inspired by it. I'm not excited by it. It feels like a little bit of a drain, but that is because I don't feel very well today. I'm very, very tired. Um, life has been super busy recently, so I'm at like maximum mental capacity. And honestly, putting on makeup, there's dog hair everywhere for Christ's sake. Um, putting on makeup, 
is like I wouldn't even say it's bottom of my priority list like it's not even in the same universe as my priority list at the moment I'm only putting on makeup if I feel like I want a pick-me-up and we're going out somewhere and I want to look a bit better than I feel or if I am sitting down to film a video like this and this is the first time I have filmed a video like this in this room which is a new place we're staying before we move into our next house and we've been here for uh, nearly two weeks now so that kind of gives you an idea of like how I'm feeling about makeup in general so obviously lipstick is like bottom of the barrel for me at the moment so I'm not making much progress which means there's not much like excitement or drive um, surrounding what I'm doing here I am hoping that like throughout the year that might improve but I don't actually see it improving probably like for at least two plus months because we we already have another move in the works so I'm like I'm tired and I just don't really care about lipstick right now it is what it is but I'm not gonna stop doing the project the project was not just about finishing lipsticks when I started it I knew that most likely I wouldn't finish many if any of these lipsticks it was about making progress and it was about having something to focus on and also when i am using products um, consistently i find it very easy to decide you know do i love this and am i going to continue to use it until i finish it up or am i a bit on the fence about it not really in love with it and thinking i want to get rid of it um and that has actually been happening with my current makeup bags as well so oh, my current makeup bags are very limited i did a video on them i think last month uh or maybe it was earlier this month i don't know guys every day feels like a month to me at the moment um <laughs> but using those makeup bags i have been well, for one, I finished a product up organically. Uh, two, I've found a few products that I'm ready to like declutter and I, I want to like refresh the makeup bag. So using things consistently helps me to focus on that rather than, you know, using a new thing every day or whatever. Like that does nothing for me. That just stresses me out. When I look at this project objectively with that point of view, with the current lip products that I've been working on. So, oh, where to go? So these three, I still love them. I've loved them every single time I've used them. I really like the colors. I like the formula. Um, this Essence one is super easy to wear. I've been using it kind of like a tinted lip balm when I'm out, which is really nice. So these three, I feel like organically I could finish them up. Red Zero will be the challenge, but I think it's time to bring in the challenge. I think now is the time to do it um, because it gives me the rest of the year to focus on that. And of course, I do have the rest of my earmarked lip products here. Um, maybe next month I'll introduce a lip balm and uh, make my life easier. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling, whether I feel like I want to torture myself a little bit more or if I want to make life a bit easier for myself. So that's it for my 12 lipsticks of 2023 update, March update. I will be back soon with another video and if I miss an upload day, it's because I'm busy and I cannot manage to get all of the things done when I need to get them done. So there's that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to let me know how you're going with your lip projects, if you're working on one, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.